Sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. I don't know about you, but I fully expect this match to steal the show. settle for nothing short of a victory here tonight. The fans have been demanding this one-on-one -on -one contest, and here it is. It's all academic from here. This just gets worse. We talk about separation between you and your opponent as a key to victory. I don't know how you can be expected to do that when you're getting beaten all to hell. Uh-oh. I think what's happening now is something none of us want to see, and that's Cactus Jack getting on a roll. This man's so unpredictable, so sadistic. No one can withstand human brutality of this magnitude. Okay. Is there a more apt nickname in all sports entertainment than the rated R superstar? I mean, here's a guy in Edge who doesn't care who's watching. He's going to go out there and say and do whatever he wants. Yeah, he proved that to us in the way he celebrated winning his first WWE Championship with Lita. But you know what? Makes the cut. And he kicks out. And he lives to fight again. Wow, that was almost it for Edge. Extreme Rules is such a dangerous night. Anytime you throw the rule book out the window, somebody is bound to get seriously hurt. Speaking of Edge's spear, I'll never forget watching him spear Mick Foley through a flaming table at WrestleMania 22. Oh. Talk about a WrestleMania moment. No kidding. It seems like Edge always unleashes the big spears at WrestleMania. How about that one he did to Jeff Hardy off the ladder at WrestleMania X7? Wow. Just making his presence felt there. Great one-on-one -on -one action here tonight. It doesn't get much better than this. I don't think there's any lengths that these superstars won't go to to achieve victory here tonight. You have to assume that tonight is one of the favorite nights of the year for the referees, right? I mean, there's practically no rules to enforce. The only thing they have to worry about is declaring a winner. Watching the superstars file into the arena earlier today, you could tell that they have a just a different mindset. I mean, they know the dangers that go along with competing in extreme rules. When this guy's on, Look out. And again, the mind game. It's got to be over now. Oh, not again. Not again. Oh, ouch. He's going to be bruised from head to toe before this one's over. 
If you stop and think about all the punishment Cactus Jack has absorbed over the years, it's a wonder he's even able to still compete. I mean, we're talking about thumbtacks and flaming tables and barbed wire bats. The list goes on and on. That's what makes him the hardcore legend that he is, Michael, and it's probably why he's been able to develop such a cult following early in his career. Oh, wow. Man, that's got him. That's how you move up the ladder here in WWE. We're looking at complete domination here. He may be in the best physical condition I've ever seen him in. Oh, my. Get the medics down here. Oh, did you see? Oh, not again. Not again. Cactus Jack knows. Ow. Warm up the buses. This one's over. Oh, that's a shot. What do you think about that strategy? Obliviate your opponent and put yourself on the path to victory. Getting back to Cactus's early career, I still can't believe he lost his ear in the middle of a match with Vader and still finished the match. I mean, that's unbelievable. Edge is going in for the kill. And Edge makes him pay in the worst way on that exchange. Another amazing singles contest. These two never cease to entertain the WWE Universe. Cactus Jack with a nice reversal. Back where it belongs, inside the ring. Get him some air here. I need some too after sitting next to you. You know, like you guys, I'm awed by Cactus Jack's early years. But for me, it doesn't get any better than his street fight for the WWE Championship against Triple H at the 2000 Royal Rumble. Oh my gosh, what a match that was. And now Edge could have this match in the bag. Could this be it? I think so. Two, three. He did it. What a huge win. Oh, those WWE competitors tore this arena apart. Oh, they threw everything they had at each other in this match. Here's your winner, Edge! Took on some damage there, but was still able to pick up the win. Hey, they both gave it their all, but in the end, we were left with the best man standing. What a matchup that was. Truly What's up, guys? Five time champ. Hey, guys, make sure you guys check out Future Wrestle Games on YouTube. Subscribe now, because the five time champ said so. Dig it.